Hey guys, this is just me joining in for the Not My Green palette um, collaboration that's been going on Instagram. I really wanted to show um, some of my green palettes. I did a little spread over on my Instagram page, but I thought that I would show um, a fun neutral look that you could do with the child palette. So first I'm going in with um, the KVD Blonde Pomade. Um, and just getting some shape into my brows, some more color, and then I'll be going in with the palette. Okay, so all of my brows are done, and we're going to be going in with The Child from ColourPop. Oh my gosh, I love this palette so much. Uh, getting, getting it up in frame, um, but I love the reflect of the shimmers, and I just love the darker greens that it has. Um, honestly, this is one of my favorite uh, ColourPop palettes that I've had so far. Um, as you'll see, I'll pull out one more. Um, during this video, but what I'm going in with right now is going to be Baby Face from the Child Palette, and it's this nice, like, light kind of, mm, I would call it like an olive tone green, um, or maybe like an army green, but it's a really good, coolish color to go in with, um, to start out our look, and I'm just going to be placing that, um, so in the crease and then also shaping up the outer corner and um, kind of bringing it in a little bit. I've really gotten into the habit of um, this certain eye shape where I do a little bit of a wing but not quite. So just going in and over. Um, like I was saying before, this is one of my favorite matte um, formulas from Colourpop. And I've also really been enjoying their new um, Super Shock shadow formula that is available in their palettes um, so that's something that I'll utilize today. Um, another thing that I am utilizing today is the Aura and Out palette by ColourPop. This came out this summer um, and it was part of their pastel range. So the shade that I dipped into there is Fresh Cut and it's this nice bright green, um, bright kind of yellowy green and I'm putting that into the inner corner to just brighten the inside of the look. And here we're going to switch back to the child and the shade that I'm going to go into is called Float Your Crib. It's a bit darker olive um, and I'm using this on the outer corner as well as um, just kind of putting this all over the lid for more of a smoky look today. Um, as soon as I move the palette out from in front of my eye, um, you'll be able to say, see that I'm, I'm pulling that all the way in to the inner corner and just smoking that out. Okay, next I'm going to be taking um, Droid Protocol and running that down the lower lash line. I also put Float Your Crib underneath my lash line. And I'm going to be kind of putting that in that outer corner as well, just a little, little bit. Um, and then next we are adding Precious Cargo. Now this is one of the ColourPop's... Um, Super Shock Shadows, and I'm just going to be placing that over the center of my eye. I really love how they've been doing um, really iridescent shadows in this formula because I think it works so well for it. Um, and it just kind of gave a little bit of like glossiness to my look um, and kind of popped my eyes out a little bit. 
it really made the um, the smokiness die down a little bit. Um, so after that, I'm going to be adding a little bit more blending, um, taking a little bit more of that green color, and uh, kind of fanning out the edge into a little bit of a wing, um, making sure that I like the shape of our eyeshadow look today. And then I'm going to be digging into my face products. So first, we are going to be using the e.l.f. bronzer in St. Lucia. I've actually made super good progress on this. I've been working on this blush and bronzer duo for ages now. Um, and this summer, actually, I managed to finish the blush, which is why you don't see that in the pan anymore. Um, that was such a good accomplishment over quarantine. But what I'm doing here is just bronzing up my face a little bit. Um, even though I have to wear a mask at work all day, it's still kind of fun just to put on the makeup. Um, and just get a little bit of use out of it. Okay, so in here I'm going to be taking my custom blush. This is something that I mixed myself several years ago and put inside a Tarte, um, Tarte Blushed Compact. Um, if you're looking for, uh, you know, a similar color, it's, it's the, um, the pink color from Modern Renaissance is the base of this. Um, it's really pigmented, so I've been working at it for years. Um, next up, I'm taking my spoon highlighter from ColourPop, um, and this I've also been working at for a considerable amount of time. I finally repressed it, so that's super exciting. Um, and I'm just highlighting and taking in some under, under brow highlight and then I'll go in for a little bit of inner corner highlight as well. Okay, and to finish off the look, we're going to be using the Marc Jacobs um, mascara. I don't know specifically what it's called. I got this as a Sephora sample. Honestly, I don't see the point in buying full-size mascara anymore, um, so I just wait until it's on sale. And this is going to be the finished look. I think before editing, this look took about 15 to 20 minutes, um, and I just love this palette so much. So thanks for watching. Bye!